Unlike below ground wiring, insulated wires can be run outside of the home in various types of conduits. These can include metal and non-metallic tubes, as well as plastic tubing encased in concrete. For many circuits, you may want to use PVC or metal troughs with rectangular cross sections. In some cases, you may need to use metal elbows to prevent excessive pull. Exposed wiring can also be run in cable trays or rectangular raceways. Running electrical wire outside above ground does not require the use of conduit. Certain types of cable do not require conduit to be installed outdoors, but it is still recommended to cover any exposed wire. A good option for enclosing exposed cable is a gray or black PVC Schedule 40 conduit that is rated for sunlight and weather resistance. It's important to know the local code requirements before beginning work. And remember that if you're not sure whether or not you're required to use conduit, check the manufacturer's instructions. When running electrical wire outside above ground, you should consider your location and the national electrical code. In general, you should use 12 gauge or thicker cable. If your wiring is exposed to the elements, you should use a ground fault interruptor GFI as well. These devices monitor the amperage of the hot and neutral wire and cut off power within a fraction of a second. The National Electrical Code also requires that outdoor wiring be protected with a metal conduit. You must have the necessary permits in place before you can begin installation. You may have to interact with the inspections office to verify your plans. However, if your building is under construction, you can choose to bury electrical wire without the use of a conduit. But be careful, buried electrical cable cannot be used for all types of wire. Only UF and direct bury cables can be buried. Therefore, make sure to check local codes before you start work. If you have to run electrical wire outside above ground, you can choose to run it under concrete or plaster. You can use a PVC pipe. The lead covering protects the wiring from ants, and it will also prevent rodents from digging underneath it. Additionally, it is convenient and long-lasting compared to other methods. You will also have no problems with fire or mechanical wear if you use this type of wiring. There are many methods for running electrical wire outside. Some of them are safer than others. Some people use batten wiring to install their wiring outside their home. But it is not recommended for outdoor use because it is not waterproof. For instance, you should not use a GFCI outlet inside your house. You need to avoid this if you want to run electricity outside. A GFCI outlet is a necessity to keep the electric system in the ground. It is possible to run electrical wire outside above ground without a trench. In this case, you have to dig a hole that is at least 4 inches wide and 3 to 4 inches deep. The trench should be located at least 18 inches above the surface of your home. If you are doing an electrical installation, you can use a small conduit that reaches the ground. You can also choose to bury the cable underground. The NEC requires that electrical wires be 18 inches below ground level to be considered safe. In some cases, this may be difficult to achieve. But, you can do it yourself and follow all the guidelines for above ground wiring. The NEC also provides tips for installing underground wiring. It is important to make sure your installation meets the NEC's requirements for a specific job. This way, you will be sure to avoid a hazard. The best choice for buried electrical wire is Schedule 40 PVC conduit. You can use a flexible or rigid PVC conduit for above-ground applications. The material used for outdoor wiring should be at least 3 quarters inch in diameter and have a rubber-coated outer casing. If you are doing the wiring for a residential application, it should be done in parallel to the joists of the house. This will prevent the wire from coming into contact with the ground.